Hello, <laughs> welcome back. It's part three of you know, what was last week's called? Linebacker chats. Yeah, I think it should probably let's talk about linebackers, linebacker chats. Sure, that works. Um, my name's Theo. I'm a middle linebacker. Hilversum Hurricanes. It's um, uh, it's in the Netherlands. It's in Europe. A bunch of people around me speaking Dutch outside. <laughs> um, I am an American though, so oh my God, you you speak a really good English for Dutch for being Dutch. No, I'm actually an American. I, from Portland, Oregon. So there's that. I live here due to work life situations. Anyways, so I'm going to be going over parts on the whiteboard here, but first we're going to go over some comments. Today is a very weird day considering the current rules of the country now allow for anyone under the age of 27. So 27 and above can't do sports practices. 26 and under? Yes. So Bad thing if you turn 27 yesterday, good thing if you turn 27 tomorrow because <laughs> you can go to practice this week and who knows. But I'm going to go over comments from previous videos that are football related and, and then we're going to move on to the whiteboard after the announcements. Like most of the about six people on my team <laughs> are currently at football practice if they even went to begin with. Uh, Tim Young on uh, one of my last things is how long do you plan on playing football and I'm like yep as long as my body allows I'm confident I can get another four years at least assuming there's no more pandemics or catastrophic events or global warming floods or whatever <laughs> I'm pretty confident I could get that out at least big 50 says keep doing these videos we like them uh, you give us good info and explain well uh, I'll be recording part two today. Yeah, I think I brought that one up last week because it came in at the last minute. Uh, Tim Young has been asking about watching videos on about top high school prospects. I need to get, I need to secure okay permission for that one. So the few that I've seen for videos, I also realize they're like from 2018. So they're most likely in college right now. Video dates are hard to find on YouTube. He asked about footwork videos. I got a whole playlist of football skills to do from back when I thought I could be a corner and explaining some of that stuff to linebacker stuff. I haven't really done any recently because same thing over and over. I mean, I even have a book. I even have a video going over this book <laughs> that I bought many years ago. So, and then yeah, that's pretty much that. I understand that football is starting up in the States. People are having games. It's very awkward because similar to the, the, the yoke team here, they can do practices, but they can't do games. However, the same age over in the States can practice and do games. So it's weird. All right, so uh, you, you, let's make sure everything is going to Got a bunch of Sam and Wills up there. So I'm going to be explaining kind of the, the one side of the field, outside the box. The last two videos have been talking about like linebacker basics and stuff that happens inside the box, such as like, you know, stunts and blitzes and stuff. So we're going to put, we're going to put the line over there. Just... There's nothing straight in my life. There's the numbers. <laughs> I guess. Ah, really bad at drawing. I did not take art classes. So, you're probably gonna have a mic in there somewhere. And we'll go with the, the weak side right now. So, with that, you're gonna probably have You're going to have a wide receiver out here, and you may have a slot receiver here. Now, I'm going to be basing everything off of a 4-3. So, we're going back with the line here. I've got an end. And we've got a nose and a tackle and an end. And that's way out there. End up. Anyways, so you've got the mic that lines up pretty head up and things change as stunting happens. However, since you've got this guy way out here, 
the will is no longer here. He got a bump out. Does that make sense? You know, because you have to cover this guy because you've got your corner over there doing whatever corners do. They like to be head up, they like to be outside shade, they like to be inside shade, Lord knows. Whatever the wide receiver in the corner are doing is their little weird dance that runs down the field. And so, since the will has to bounce out and basically comes across as a... What to do here? What to do? What to do? Yeah. You'll hear the term split the difference. And you're splitting the difference between not the end, but the tackle and the slot receiver. It's the number two receiver. So that's why it's the slot receiver, because we'd be looking at like possibly a receiver, possible tight end over there, slot. So it'd be like four wide, but a tight end. So that's what that. However, that gap is empty. So. The mic shifts over and the Sam comes over. So the Sam will not, like, I'm still leaving them as is because this is what you would do. It's, you just take on the responsibilities. It doesn't actually change your position name. So the Sam will now have all those things. So this is why I have said in previous videos, know your playbook. Because you have to know as a mic what the will does, because if the will's got to bounce out and cover this, cover this guy in an area, you have to go here and realize that that's your gap and you're not trying to run over there or run into your old gap. That's the concept of, like I said, know your playbook. And so this is just the various little things, because the will's job is technically this area. This is not drawn to scale. So the will has to cover this area, but, so like, and that would mean that he has to watch this wide receiver. Receiver. <laughs> like we're getting a will and a will, W and a W. That's not good. So the will's gotta cover this area and it's easier if this guy wants to run up really quickly, then he can catch him right away. If he's all the way over here, and this one runs up and does a curl route, or a, you know, just you know, five up, curl back, get the ball thrown, the will can get there and interrupt it really fast, rather than running all the way over there, because it, it just makes it easier on the will to get something as they're bounced out to the side. But it also helps in case anything runs out this way in case the slot goes Yee. but that's the thing though it bumps the will out because rather than being on the inside of their zone they're in the middle of their zone for like cover two a cover three puts things in weird location i have a whole video on that one in my football 101 uh link it up there i'll link the playlist up there you guys can follow that one this is why we bounce out now the question that some people might have, what happens when the sand bounces out? Well, that means you have a trip situation over there. If the will has to bounce out also to cover a slot, it means you've got one, two, three, four, five. You have five receivers on the line versus, you know, a running back back there. Who's running through? <laughs> the mic is pretty much already on the quarterback as is. There's no running back to worry about. You don't, the only thing you have to worry about is Anything coming across the middle. You're all on pass game on that one. So if the Sam has to bounce out or the Sam is hitting up, you know, if you've got a, if you've got a wide three rather than a, a you know, a, the long runner, a midi. I don't know your guys' receiver names. Y'all come up with weird stuff. You got, the, you got the one, a two, and you got a three. And even if the three is not the tight end and lined up on the actual line, but is still bounced out a little bit more, the Sam can go out because you have corner, strong safety, Sam linebacker going man-to-man. -man. 
And then out here you'd have corner man, will man, and eh, I'm just, you know, you're on the quarterback. So you don't really need to shift if the sand bounces out. Uh, I know some people think that the mic would have to shift over and cover the same thing, but there's no open hole because you have a tackle there. So the same can bounce out. The same is pretty much kind of a rover in this situation. The same can bounce out a little bit more. The same can also maintain cleanup. They have a little bit more, I guess the term is agency. Um, but yeah, so this is you know, that's what would happen with a bounce out. And why everything needs to shift over and you need to make sure that your hole, and that the SAM, if you're SAM, you also need to know that that's your hole and that's your hole. And that you, as a will, would, this would be your run area, right here. So, yeah. <laughs> and you know, and you always have to watch who you're watching to make, you know, always watch the guard, make sure that they are doing what's necessary, you know, and you wait, make sure it's all right. If it's not a run, follow that guy wherever he's going because it's man or cover two. It's good. And then you're watching for this receiver to come into the center. The mic is watching to see if the slot's running in that way or checking for a run. Like, there's multiple options, and that's basically what happens when you bounce out. Now, I'm just going to illustrate it. So we're going to flip the we're going to flip the side, but I'm not really going to undraw a lot of things. Okay, so now we're back out with like looking at what be, because I would before we were having like strong left because the defend the defense always yells in the direction of us, not like so it's strong left. Now we're looking at a strong right, okay. Mike. Well, however, on this side you will have the strong safety. Because if you're dealing with, you know, four, three, the other, the other side is four. So one, two, field safety and a corner on the other side. That's just how that works and lays out. So you've got one, two, three. Cool, man to man's covered. And if the tight end is still in the box, then maybe the Sam could shimmy kind of over that way a little bit. He doesn't have to be exactly between the linemen. He could kind of be outside if he knows that the tight end is one of those that definitely runs off a little bit more. And then he could be there ready to pick him up as he goes deep or comes into the center and can, or maybe even want to cheat down a little bit um, to make sure that the tight end comes off and he can get a bump. <laughs> God forbid. It takes a special kind of Sam to want to like come down and be no head up on the tight end because you already have an end here anyways and you may have a quick, um, like the end may come across and jab the end which causes this guy to go after that one and then you have a free, it's, it's how it works out with how th that intricate chess dance that happens. And as a Sam, you should know, is this end going to try to go after the tight end? Is he coming up head up on the tight end and making this tackle think something weird is going on? Like, you have to know the intricate dance of what happens in the in on the line as a linebacker. <laughs> Will, mm, less so. <laughs> it's about 40% of what's going on in your head. Sam, Mike, definitely. It, in this setup, at least. However, in the other situation that I was talking about earlier, let's say halfback. The running back runs out and lines up on the line. So now you probably have strong safety and the Sam linebacker would get more heads up. But notice, the reason when the when the will bounced out, it left this hole open. So now the mic and the will still have their spots over there because the tackle in the end have their spots. So, you know, you can see while well, if the will bounces out, there's no reason because you can still have at this point someone back there. 
yeah, maybe the mic edges over just a little bit more to give like a double aspect so you look like you have a 4-2, but you don't really need to. I, I don't. When If the Sam has to bounce out, I don't really need to cover this area um, because you've got one, two, three, and if it's man to man, they're covering each of their guys, <sighs> you know, and if the Sam gets further out, if the strong safety, it all lines up with how your defense is working. But this is why the mic doesn't have to shift over when the Sam bounces out. Unlike in the previous one where the will bounces out and the mic had to shift over. And the Sam has to shift over too. And so that pretty much covers the things that you'd need to do outside the box because even in a cover two situation, the Sam would have like this area. And as you can see, he's in his box. Whereas like if the tight end is here and the Sam is covering this, he could be over here just in case the sand, you know, the tight end wants to just get up all up in someone's business, but he's still within his zone. And that's a really small circle. I'm very aware of that. That's, that's the thing is like, you don't want to completely abandon your zone. The strong safety can be head up, you know, can come up with this guy. The corner can be the outside of that guy. You can be the inside of that guy and squish the receivers together. And that's about, that, that's about it for this. There is occasionally if they bunch, but that is a very specific situation that your coach would have you do differently. Like depend, I mean, it depends on the team. Sometimes you get, well, here, let me draw it up. So let's say we're out here on the numbers. Let's get that number out of there. X, say the slot and the halfback. And they go out and they line up like that. But depending on your coach, the Sam can go all the way out there. It is possible, again, on your coach, if you want to basically get these guys, keep them bunched up. Because the Sam is relatively a rover and is only clean up for the run. As I've seen, you're probably going to have the Sam a little bit further in there and you'd bring the strong safety right there. And that this is a pincer attack and that anything that spills out, like if anybody spills out of the inside, the Sam's right there to take care of it, but can still also help with the run if necessary. You don't want to get your linebacker too far out of the box, so they might as well just be defensive back. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Again, I'm, the goal of this is to help you guys get in a football mindset as well as me, because apparently practices are start, starting back up if you're not old as dirt. Any questions about this or the previous two videos, um, go ahead, ask in the comments. I will answer the question, and if it's pertinent to the whiteboard stuff, I'll draw it up on the whiteboard. And I'll let it go everything. If I need to absolutely research something, I got a book here, and I will research it. <laughs> um, yeah, catch you guys later.